We're going to talk about a few simple but oft overlooked methods on JavaScript's array object. Specifically, find index, index of, and last index of. Each of these methods relates to the order of the data stored in the array. Actually, let's make that explicit for anyone new to arrays. The position of an item in the array is its index. So if you have this array, shout out to the six people who read this newsletter and, like me, also follow basketball, arrays are a zero-based count, so the index for New Orleans Pelicans is zero and the index for New York Knicks is three. These numbers are useful. Much of the time you're worried more about the data than its position, but that's not always the case. I'm working on a project right now where I need to match up a text string with an array full of them and know exactly where it's positioned for rendering purposes. So let's talk about matching indices. The first way to do it is the aptly named FindIndex, which allows you to find the index of the first item in the array that matches the parameters you define. How do you define them? With a custom function. It's most useful if your array contains complex objects or if you're looking for something other than a simple value. It works like this. Save that. Refresh. We get three, which coincides with New York Knicks, which is the only name here that's shorter than 16 characters. It's important to note that this method only gives you the index for the first time the function returns true. So if we had a larger array that included, say, the Phoenix Suns, we'd still get three as the result, because the Knicks would be the first value that returns true when you run it against the name is short function. If you want a list of all items that match, you need to be using array.find, which we covered all the way back in JS Quick Hits 1. If you've just got a simple array of strings, or numbers, or other non-object slash array primitives, which we do, and you're just looking to find the index of a known value, you could do it with find index. But you could save code by just using index of, which takes a single value to search for instead of a function, but otherwise operates the same. Here's the code. If we save that, refresh. And we get two, which matches up again. That's pretty straightforward. You go through the array and you find the first match and you get its index. Simple. The only catch is the same as with find index. If your array contains multiple values that are the same, you're only getting the index of the first match. If you need to know the indices for every match, you'd have to use some kind of loop. For, for each, map and filter, etc. There are a bunch of different ways you could do it, but the for loop is probably the fastest and most broadly readable. Last up, we've got last index of, which, wait for it, finds the last index of a value. Shocking, I know. This works exactly like index of, except in an array that contains multiple identical items, it'll find the index of the last one instead of the first. Here's some code, which also establishes a new array with a repeated value. Save. Refresh, four. As you can see, this is giving us the index for the second instance of Bob, not the first, as expected. And before you dismiss this scenario as unrealistic, know that I once worked in a startup with two other guys named Chris and one guy named Christian, and in a different startup with three other guys named Chris. We are legion. Anyway, these array methods are built into JavaScript, speedy, and often overlooked when it comes to simple operations. Don't forget about them. See you next week. 